Hello Commanders, welcome back. In this video we are gonna try something different. We are going to equip our Vulture with two different power play weapons and see how effective they are if we use them together. The two weapons we are going to use are the Advanced Plasma Accelerator, the unique module for Denon Patreus and the Pacifier Frag Cannon which is the unique module for Zachary Hudson and the reason we are using a Vulture is because it has two large hard points and these two weapons are only available as a class 3 fixed weapon. The only problem with the Vulture will be its available power, as you can see we are way over the limit and we cannot equip shield boosters, not even the best shield generator I have chosen, I was forced to choose a shield generator of A4, a shield bank of A2, no shield boosters, a hit shield launcher and a chaff launcher. I prefer to go with a hit shield launcher and chaff launcher because it will help us evade our targets easier, it will uh, make it harder for our targets to hit us and the hitching launcher is gonna help us with the hit that the advanced plasma accelerator will generate. It has less thermal load than a normal plasma accelerator but it is still generating enough heat to create problems. So this is gonna be our loadout and uh, let's go out and test this combination of these two power play weapons how I'm going to use them? Well, obviously the Advanced Plasma Accelerator will be used in order to take down shields and then in combination with the Pacifier Frag Cannon destroy the HAL as fast as possible. The only problem I'm expecting from this combination is the low ammo size of the Pacifier Frag Cannon which only has 33 projectiles. This Anaconda will be the best target, the perfect opportunity to test our weapon loadout. Another reason that uh, we are using the Vulture is because it will allow us to stay close to our target and with these two weapons we will need to be close to not miss. Okay, so others have joined the fight, let's start. Warning, temperature critical. Let's use a heat sink, wait a bit and go again. Heat sink deployed. It's not bad damage on the shield, but it's uh, not very effective because it's only one weapon. We should be able to take down its shields right about now. The okay, shields are down. Let's try both of them and see how fast we can take down this anaconda. Yeah, the heat management is a bit of a problem. But not that big of a problem. Heat sink deployed. Not bad damage. Scan detected. Warning, taking heat damage. Warning, taking heat damage. I think the best damage uh, was uh, from the advanced plasma accelerator. The pacifier wasn't that much of a help in my opinion. Let's try another target and be sure about it. Another anaconda. This one is dangerous. Let's go after it. Now we'll have to wait some time for the reloading and give time to our weapons. Warning, temperature. Charge. Let's use a hitching. Since are down with uh, some help from NPC. Heat sink deployed. Scan detected. Yeah, the damage on this anaconda with the pacifier is not very good. That was a bit better. Well, if we manage to stay close and uh, hit from this distance, we should be fine. A 
A very interesting combination indeed, but it seems like the advanced plasma accelerator is doing all the job, it's dealing all the damage to our targets, and the passive fire frag cannon can simply not justify its use. Another major drawback of the pacifier is the low ammo size that will force you to return to a station or an outpost after 2-3 targets maximum and replenish your ammunition or stay where you are and use only one weapon or your advanced plasma accelerator. A nice alternative would have been to use two plasma accelerators, two advanced plasma accelerators, but that will be difficult with the power, the available power of the Vulture. We're gonna check other loadouts in the future other combinations of powerplay modules, powerplay and normal modules, normal weapons so we can see how effective they are, how good they work together and uh, in order to build a nice loadout out of the vessels we have in Elite Dangerous. Thank you very much for joining me and watching this video, I'm Squid of Love and I will see you next time, bye bye.